Welcome to Microprocessor and Interfacing Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain gate examples on microprocessor programming. And to explain that, this is my first question where the program and machine code for 8085 microprocessor given by starting address of program is 7 FFFFH. What would happen if it is executed from 8000 hex and here this is what the program which is given it is starting from address 7 FFFFH and question is what would happen if executed from 8000H so here first address that is there at 7 FFF so here 7 f f f h that is what first address so obviously second address will be 8 triple zero hex then for this no operation it will be 8 double zero one for this add instruction that address will be this 8 double zero two then 8 double zero three then for this 8 double zero four h then 8005 and then this jump is having 8007H this 0C that is having 8008H 80 that is having 8009H then this out instruction that is having 800A then this 10 that is at 800 B and this 76 halt that is there at 800 CH. So this is how addresses are there for this instructions. Now see what is the question. Question is what would happen if it is executed from 8000X means if you execute program from this instruction means this data then what will happen now see this is not opcode first of all c3 that is not opcode here it is actually a data which is what we are moving in mvi instruction but if you start it from here by having program counter then what will happen is this program counter that will search similar data in this program and it will be actually having similar data over here where there is opcode. So this program will get jump over here which is having similar data here. So that is jump instruction and if you see this jump is unconditional jump and it will jump to 800C. So 800C so that is this address so ultimately where there is halt instruction so again it will jump here and it will terminate program so ultimately if you initiate your program execution from this memory location which is 8000 hex there is no opcode practically so it will search for similar opcode in this program where this opcode is c3 with jump instruction one can see here and it will execute this instruction where it will be jumping to this memory location 800C and that is actually at halt. So it will jump to this memory location and it will terminate this program. So this is what the basic case which will happen if you initiate execution from 8300 hex. Now let us have a few more problem so it will be more clear. Now see here from instruction given below how many memory operations means read and write operations will get performed. So first is call instruction. So now see when you execute call instruction first memory cycle. So definitely that will be opcode fetch. Right. It will be doing opcode fetch. Now see what it does is it reads 
higher order higher order address and then lower order address so first it will read higher order address and then it will read lower order address so in second machine cycle read high order address first and then in third machine cycle it will read lower order address now see in call instruction after reading this it will be storing program counter data onto stack so for that it will be writing data of program counter right so in fourth machine cycle it will store means write higher order address of pc on stack and in fifth machine cycle it will write lower order address of program counter on stack so this many operations which will happen in call instruction op code fetch it will read higher order and lower order address and then it will write higher order and lower order address of program counter on to stack now how many machine cycle that will happen in lda instruction so obviously first will be op code fetch second will be it will read higher order address then it will read lower order address so first it will read this address read higher order address then in third machine cycle it will read lower order address then it will load data from this so it will have to write data sorry it will have to read data from memory address now see it will have to read data from this memory location so in fourth machine cycle read data from 2000 hex so see this is how it will be performing this execution of lda 2000 hex instruction see what is lda lda is actually performing data which is there on this 2000 hex will get loaded into accumulator so first op code fetch it will read higher order address it will read lower order address once it is having higher and lower order address it will read data of this address and it will load it into accumulator so this is how four machine cycles are there in lda 2000 hex in call 2000 hex it will op code fetch first read higher order read lower order then it will have to write program counter data on to stack so write higher order on pc on stack and lower order of address of pc on to stack now one more question will be solving that and that is write an instruction which takes minimum possible time to clear accumulator of 8085 now see there are various ways by which we can clear accumulator so i'll mention that first see if you do xoring operation so x r a and if you do xoring operation a with a so if you will have to write x r a xor a means xoring of a with a so that will clear accumulator now first i'll mention different ways and then we will see how much time it will take now see second way is if you end accumulator with 00 hex so that is another way now see another way is mvi a comma 00 hex so this is one way another way is if you load 
if you load that data from memory address which is given like see by using sta instruction sta 16 bit address so from this address if you load accumulator where this at this address data is zero so that is even one way and by having subtraction even so if you do subtraction of a with a it will make it to zero so these are the different ways by which we can have clear accumulator operation now see i'll explain this by different parameters so one can understand what happens here see one parameter is how many byte instruction is this second parameter is how much t state that it requires so how many t states and how many operations so let us say operation and then t state so if you see this instruction xra a so that is one byte instruction it will be doing one operation only and definitely you will be observing in this you just need four t states the reason is one byte and one operation is happening in sub a e1 it is one byte instruction one operation and it will be having four t states see four t states that is happening as per this basic law 3 plus 3 n plus 1 3 n plus 1 where operation is n actually right now see in a n i a 0 0 hex there are it is 2 byte instruction a n i and 0 0 so 2 byte instruction here 2 operations are there so obviously 3 as per 3 n plus 1 it will be making 70 m v i a comma 0 0 that is even 2 byte instruction there are 2 operations so it will be making 70 s t a instruction so that is 3 byte instruction there are total 6 operations which is happening inside and you will be finding it is having 13 t states so minimum time that is there with x r a and subtraction with a so these is these are two instructions which is taking minimum time to clear accumulator i hope that you have understood this session you can download all those data which i am teaching here from my application so just go through my application once and download all those data which i mentioned here definitely it will take less time to revise entire syllables and you can see questions which is what i have explained here so i just want to minimize your learning time that's why i'm just giving these efforts so just download this data from my applications thank you so much for watching this video